Okay, um, seem to be a lot of curiosity uh, as to how I do my sharpening. This is basically my sharpening station. Um, it's one I put together quite a few years ago because I wasn't happy with the results I was getting from this. So I put together my own. This is probably the third incarnation of my uh, home belt unit. Uh, at, uh, at one time I had basically the same setup. I didn't have, before I got the Wolverine jig. I actually had uh, the tool rest actually went across the full width and it could be tilted and slid in and out basically the same as these tilting tables except it was one piece all the way across. So if I set it up for one wheel it was already set up for the other wheel which is great as long as both wheels are the same diameter but when you got a buffing wheel on one end and a grinding wheel on the other end the grinding wheel gets smaller as you use it the buffing wheel really doesn't um, this stone started out as an 8 inch stone It's and this is an MDF wheel two layers of three quarter inch MDF glued together and trued up into an eight inch diameter. That stone is worn considerably. It's probably less than seven inches in diameter now. Uh, I just made this one three or four months ago so I haven't uh, had a lot of wear on it yet. Um, I, I, the system is based on a mandrel running in pillow blocks. Um, that is, I think, a 5 8 inch shaft, which actually comes down to half an inch where the wheels mount. Probably would be better to have a little more little heavier duty one, say 7 8 shaft and 3 quarter inch where the wheels mount, but uh, this has been working fine for me. It's driven by a belt by this motor um, and the motor is wired through this reversing switch so if I turn it this way the wheels run with the tops coming towards the front and if I turn it the other way they rotate in the opposite direction because the honing wheel has to run in the opposite direction. Uh, Wolverine bases uh, I have one set up under each wheel I bought an extra table and an extra V arm so that I can have both wheels set up at the same time rather than having to move back and forth. So uh, that's basically my system here. Uh, I haven't got a plug close enough for me to plug it in. Here, this is not normally where I'm using it. It's normally on a bench just off the tailstock side of the lathe which is up higher so that uh, this is just sitting on my workmate right now because 
I can't get the camera to give me a good view over there of the front end of the thing and uh, there isn't enough room on the bench for me to turn it around. Um, so I'll uh, move it back over there. It's all mounted on a piece of three quarter inch MDF so I can slide it around on the bench if like I got a wall beside that bench. If I'm trying to grind something that I'm trying to swing the handle and it's hitting the wall, I can swing this around so to give me some clearance. It doesn't uh, seem to walk around on me on its own. It's just uh, that's a totally enclosed fan cooled motor. Uh, that's about the only kind I really use in my wood shop because. It's a dusty environment. I'm not sure why manufacturers put open drip proof motors on woodworking equipment, but they do seem to like doing that. Okay, so I really don't have a, a good place to mount the camera to give a view of what I'm doing, but I, I'm not doing anything complicated, so. Uh, Uh, one thing, this is my half inch skew. So if I'm going to grind that, okay, I just arrange things so that the cutting edge is horizontal across the face of the wheel. No matter where I have to swing the handle, that's where I want I want the cutting edge to be horizontal across the face of the wheel. And with that horizontal, I look down here to see whether the bevel's making full contact, which it appears to be there now. But the problem is that at that angle, uh, you know, as close as I can get the table to the wheel, I still got an inch of overhang there before I'm making, before the bevel is making contact with the wheel. That brings the handle here, because the blade on this is starting to get a little short. So that brings the handle up to the point where I'm hitting the front of the table if I try to traverse across the stone. So I made this wood block with a couple of one inch rare earth magnets and hot with high friction pads mounted on them. Magnets and grinding don't really go together all that well but You gotta do what you gotta do. So that gives me a narrower so I can get more tool overhang at with the handle still swung over that far. But because I've raised that three quarters of an inch, now I have to readjust the tilt of the table. To get my bevel angle again. And that looks pretty close. That was pretty quick. Usually it takes a little longer than that. So probably just rehone it, but I'll give it a quick touch just to demonstrate the way it works. <laughs> 